You mentioned a notebook. I do. So let's have so, a little look what we've got okay. in the way. So, so this you was... can show the camera. So we'll show that okay. camera there. So we're looking at Francesca's notebook. This is, is MM Sleepover. This is Moody Margaret Sleepover. So what I do with these notebooks, because I said that I don't, this is Howard Henry's chores, all of these and if there's a line through it, it means that I actually use this. So what I do with this is rather than having a neat outline, I just write down little ideas. So I think I've written, Henry can't sleep. Um, he's feeling hungry. No biscuits in the house. So it's not an outline of a story. It's just varying ideas. And you've also asking yourself questions. You've got where bed. Yeah. Susan last left. Is there also, a m mouse intent? And yes. then you've got little extra notes here and scribbly out bits as well. So yes. this is like you're treating words on a page as stuff yeah. that you... Ghost stories. He starts knocking. So it's more because when I, when I get ideas, when I'm thinking about a story, you have to have a notebook with you. So I always carry around some kind of notebook. So I have a little notebook, so if I'm on my way here and I get an idea, I can write it down in here and then I write it on the page. Because if I'm also writing a number of stories at the same time, I'll have a little page for each of them. So that was Moody Margaret's sleepover notes, Horrid Henry and the Nudie Foodie, which is <laughs> Horrid Henry's food. School is chosen as a healthy eating school, obviously inspired by Jamie Oliver and making vegetables fun. So I write food fight, question mark, um, is the, does he sneak this? So I ask myself questions on it and then I just make, so when I come to write the story, I have varying ideas, Horrid Henry rocks. A lot of these I will never use in the story. So it's just all, my, it's a way of keeping my notes in one place, but without saying it starts here, then this happens, then this happens. And um, this notebook, do, are you mostly the only person who ever sees that? I you? am. I've never shown this to anyone oh, right. before. Oh, right. So there we are. We're no, very, no, very no. lucky, folks. But yeah. see, I mean, sometimes I type them out and then I write, Horrid Henry's chicken, the goose that lays the golden egg. Let's just show that one because that's okay. quite interesting because you've typed it here. Can you see this? Uh, so Francesca's typed it there but done scribbles over it so you started off with a nice clean perfectly <laughs> and then ruined page, it and then scribble 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 because that's your ideas flowing isn't it absolutely and then like i've written horrid henry's hospital visit question mark henry goes green <laughs> i never did that one moody margaret's revenge so i think i did that one horrid henry's spy thinks the neighbor killed wife question mark <laughs> binoculars in garden these are stories that never happened um, but each one is like a little germ of a story. I can hear the sort of seed of a absolutely. story. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, um, you know, Horrid Henry at Scruffs. I did that one, so I've ticked it, which is, you know, the neighborhood dog show. So, but I'll also, well, if I'm stuck, you know, I'll have to write another book. There's four stories. I go back to this and I think, okay, could I combine Horrid Henry's April Fool with Horrid Henry's Twin Day? Maybe. I, you know, you just... It's sort of like doodling, really. Um, doodling with words and ideas. Doodling isn't with it? words and ideas. So I just shoved this in my Horrid Henry's Horrid Half Term, which I never did. Thought of Horrid Henry's Cook. I mean, so these. There's are, another hundred stories here. There Francesca. are probably, and then I've combined two notebooks. I glue them in. You know, it's not very, um, very elegant, but. As, well, that's the point, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the more elegant it is, probably the less it would work. It is, and I, you know, I don't do it on particularly nice notebooks. Um, and um, this one is the one when you're on the move. This is my on the move one. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about just I'll get little bits of dialogue in my head and I write them down. Um, see things on a bus, see the way parents behaving on a bus. Absolutely. Make little notes of things. If I'm in a museum and there's something, um, I'll make notes about that. If I'm, you know, writing about the Norse world. Yeah. No fish oil in the lamps. Okay. <laughs> no fish, fish oil, oil in, in the, the lamps. lamps. So in the labs or the lamps? Lamps. In the lamps. No fish oil. Well, the Vikings used fish oil, I think, to light their houses. So I must oh, have right. just got Ooh, that. that must have pumped. Yep. So yeah. just a little detail of that. And then I'll come home and then if I'm being efficient, I'll get out my Viking notebook and I will add no fish oil in the lamps and somewhere that may come into a story. So if I often have like a page of description, you know, little phrases that I like because I'm not that great at writing description. I tend to write dialogue. Wonderful. Francesca Simon, 
Thanks ever so much indeed. Thank you. That's lovely that Thank you, you Michael. To talk to us. Now, it would be great if you subscribed. That is, you become a subscriber. Look out for the subscribe button. What happens, you see, is that I make new vids every few months and then I post them up one a week for a while. So if you subscribe, you get to see the new ones just as they come hot off the press. Eww.